There are lots of different tie knots out there, and today I'm gonna to show you how to tie one of the best. It makes a great dimple and has one other amazing benefit, which you'll see in just a bit. I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style. Let's learn how to tie the Nikki knot. Start with the seam side of the tie facing up, wide end longer than the narrow end. Cross the narrow end over, Bring the wide end up and over, wrapping it around once. Bring it to the other side and wrap it around once. Now, depending on the thickness of your tie, you could skip the next step, but because this tie is made with a thinner fabric, I'm going to wrap it around one more time to give the knot a little more heft. Bring the wide end up and through and pull it through Start with the seam side of the tie facing up, wide end longer than the narrow end. Cross the narrow end over, bring the wide end up and over, and wrap it around once. Next, bring it to the other side and wrap it around one time. Now, depending on the thickness of your tie, you could skip the next step, but because this tie is made with a thinner fabric, I am going to wrap it around one more time to give the knot a little more heft. Bring the wide end up and through, and pull it somewhat tight. Thread the wide end through the loop, pull it through, and give it some final adjustments. There you have it, very simple to tie, makes a great dimple, and as I mentioned, there was one more benefit to this knot, so check this out. When you are going to take your tie off, you just pull the narrow end through, and there's no knot. So I've been using the Nikki knot a lot recently between this one and the double foreign hand. Those are my two go-to tie knots. Thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and stay tailored.